Hello, hello, hello. My name is Izzat Ilmani Aiminur bin Suhaimi, and today I will be showing and explaining to you the various features of the project management tool of our choosing, ClickUp. Among the reasons we had chosen ClickUp as our chosen project management tool is because ClickUp is regarded by many as a cloud-based work platform for all types and sizes of teams as well as businesses. It is able to combine numerous important businesses, applications, and is also able to centralize company information into a single online solution, relevant or otherwise. It is capable of assigning tasks to team members, manage projects for clients, and collaborate with colleagues on documents as well as other features and functionality. As a project management tool that is highly regarded among the various businesses that makes use of its software such as Nike, Uber, and Google, ClickUp is able to provide all of the necessary tools, features, and many more management aspects that is needed to complete work in an efficient, visible, and accessible way. To show you how this works, we will be focusing on a hypothetical project. In this hypothetical project, we are to make a functioning auto lock door complete with its own report. The data shown in this example will also correlate to the necessary items that are needed to complete this hypothetical project. To first start things off, to actually use the ClickUp project management tool, we must first acquire the product. To acquire the product, you have to enter your email address so that the company or the website can send you a free trial version of their project management tool with limited access. Assuming that you have already signed up for your free product version of ClickUp, we will begin with logging in. As you can see here, this is the login web page where you can access your project management tool. You will be required to enter your email and password. Once you have logged in, this is the home screen that you will be acquainted with over the following months until the project's completion. ClickUp offers a variety of features that falls under the project management scope. For example, the to-do list. You are able to set or make a to-do list based on what tasks need to be done. ClickUp offers you a variety of tools and assistance that may help you in your future endeavors. For example, the to-do list. The to-do list highlights the tasks that is needed to be completed by you and or your team members on a day-to-day -day basis. For example, in my to-do list today, I have to revise my final report, which starts today, apparently. I did not know that, nor did I remember that. But by looking at my to-do list more specifically today, I am reminded that yes, this is a task that is needed to be done by today by me for this project. Aside from that, you can also view other tasks. ClickUp also offers you a view of the tasks that are considered to be overdue, for example, the presenting the report. The task presenting the report is considered to be overdue because it was due yesterday. The due date was yesterday. But apparently one of my team members did not, however, update this task because they have indeed presented the report to me yesterday. So I as the team project manager is able to set the task to, to do in progress or completed. Because they have already completed their task, I will set this to complete. If we were to go even further beyond and highlight a specific task, you are able to see a more detailed version of that highlighted task. For example, the task preparing for a presentation was created on March 8th at 4.58pm. The time track is 53 minutes, but the time estimated is 20 minutes. As you can see here, the, the team member that is responsible for completing this task took much more time than expected. As a project team member or a project team manager, you are able to see this and you can question them on why it took them so long or why it took them more than the estimated time to complete this project or to complete this task. At the same time, you can also see who is delegated or who is responsible for this specific project. For example, the person who is responsible for preparing this presentation is Muhammad Hazmat, my, me, myself, as well as Ahmad Aminuddin. ClickUp also has a feature called a comment section. For example, if we were to go into a specific task, we can see here a comment section. In a comment section, I can comment on this specific task if I have a question or if I need a team member to do something but I cannot contact them directly. For example, if I were to type, I need you to do this by today and comment, it will appear here. The team member that is responsible for completing this task will see my comment and hopefully will adjust their work accordingly. Aside from that, let us go into the notification section. In the notification sections, you are able to see all of the tasks as well as all of, all of the tasks that 
is to be updated by your team members. For example, the task that I had highlighted before presenting the report was considered to be overdue. I, as a project team manager, is able to see this task. I have already acknowledged that this task is overdue, but at the same time, I have also acknowledged the fact that this task has also been presented by my team members a couple of days ago, so I had assigned this to be completed. The task preparing for presentation has not been completed and is still ongoing, and again, is considered to be overdue. Aside from that, you can also see the other tasks. Other team members can change the status of a task if they were to complete that specific task. For example, the task analyzing collected data by Ahmad Aminuddin was changed from to-do to completed because he had already completed this specific task. Moving on from that, I will be explaining to you a ClickUp feature known as a Pulse. A Pulse is considered to be a member tracking software or a member tracking feature that tracks the activities of your team members. For example, the only team member that, that is considered to be online is me, while my other team members are considered while my other team members are considered to be offline. If your group were to consist of tens or even hundreds of people, you can simply type in their name here. And their name will pop up here if they are considered to be online or offline. Aside from that, ClickUp also has a feature called a goal or goals also known as a milestone. Goals or milestones are achievement progress or achievement trackers that tracks all of the tasks that is completed. This offers team members as well as team managers a sense of progression since they can see the overall progress of their project. When it comes to project scheduling management, ClickUp cannot be beaten. To make the progress as easy as possible as well as to streamline all of the other tasks, you are able to create a file. For this example, we have created a file called task. In here, you can see all of the tasks that we have made. For example, the task to identify project, the consultation of the project idea, project proposal, and etc. Like other project management tools, ClickUp also has its own sets of features that is considered to be valuable to a project management team. For example, you are able to create various tasks and create and even create subtasks for that highlighted task. For example, the task identify project has the subtask of brainstorming ideas as well as a discussion of its advantages and disadvantages. If both of these subtasks are completed, you will have a much more easier time to complete the main task. But unlike other project management tools, one of the primary features of ClickUp is the ability to change perspective. For example, up here you can see list, board, guard, timeline, and activity. If I were to go into board, all of the tasks that you previously saw in list form, you can now see it in board form. Both, both of these perspectives have their own advantages. For example, in list, you are able to see things at a much more simplified view. But in board, you are able to see them in a much more pleasing way. For example, one of, one of the advantages of being able to freely switch between perspectives is you may be able to see things that you might have missed in list. For example, because of how compact the design of the list form, if you were to go into board form which has a more freer and much more appealing interface, you may be able to see the things that you might have missed or the things that you have noticed Carrying on from that is the Gantt chart feature of ClickUp. A Gantt chart in its simplest form is a timeline that illustrates how the project will progress during the project management process. And the timeline view offered by Gantt charts is proven to be quite useful for planning and scheduling projects. For example, it helps project managers and project teams to assess how long a project should take, determine resources needed, as well as understand the dependencies between tasks, and plan the order in which each task will be completed if the whole project is to deliver on time. As the project moves forward, a Gantt chart adjusts simultaneously, displaying an up-to-date project schedule to keep everyone, regardless of teams, clients, and even stakeholders, informed of the progress. In addition to this, Gantt chart replaces meetings and enhances other status updates. They make it easy for teams to understand the task progress and talk about the problems they may or may not occur. In all, Gantt chart is useful during project management because it allows you to picture your project against the time frame it needs to be done in. Last but not least in terms of project scheduling management is the timeline function of ClickUp. A project management timeline improves communication so that everyone knows who is doing what. Moreover, it allows other team members to get involved quickly and efficiently when it comes to relaying the right information to the right team members. For example, as you can see here, all of the tasks that were made by us can be displayed here. Aside from that, a timeline makes project progress easily more trackable. 
For example, let's say you do happen to fall behind a schedule with a project. Well, that's a shame. The advantage of a project management timeline is that you can recognize when you have fallen behind a due date as soon as possible. This means you can react as quickly as possible too. And to finish things off, one of the many advantages of a timeline, more specifically the timeline that is offered by ClickUp is to have a project as well as the project teams and its members have better time management. Time has a starring role in the success of any project. When you properly plan your project with a timeline, you get to understand how damaging a delay can be. When you have an overall view of the progress in front of you, it is easier to avoid working mindlessly on tasks. Instead, your team will focus each week on what needs to get done. With this, I have completed my explanation of ClickUp's uh, project management scope as well as its uh, project scheduling management and I will be continuing this task to my friend Amin to explain about ClickUp in terms of financial management. Thank you. The app also can help you manage your financial for your project and for example if you want to buy something you can simply put the name of item you want to buy just like I want to buy pen. Okay, and create test. Uh, I can do it here, but I want to show you something. Okay, the pen is assigned, a test will be assigned. So we can assign someone to buy it. Just like I want to add them to buy some to buy the pen. Okay, and I want the pen before 14 something. So it's a due date. If the due date has arrived, it will notify the sign the signing via email. I want and you can put a price you want the pen. For example, um, I want the pen for four dollar. For the actual value, if the signing bought a pen the pen cost like three or something he can put it here yes and then if the senior have bought it he can simply just change the status to paid and we go to the section of the paid category Microsoft project usually used to organize tasks, duties, appointments, and also resources in the best and easiest way in both private and business environment. Okay, let's start with the blend project for example. At this point, this window will show two main sites. Okay, on the left, you have a quick table that will contain the full list of the tasks to be done and on your right, you have the gun chart which is used to check the job or task spread over the timeline above the gun chart indicating one day per column as you can see under task name you can give a name to your progress task and define when it start under the start section and when the task should be finished or you can also put the duration of the task yourself and the finish date will come out itself when the task start fin and finish date is complete fill out the task will appear on the gun chart as a column rectangle you can customize its appearance by double click on it. By default, the working day are counted from Monday to Friday with no holiday in between. You can set up the working days and holiday by going to the project tab on the top and then change the working day. Inside the task list and the gun chart, you can also have a timeline of the project at the very top of the windows. This doesn't show all the list 
of the task you have but just the one you have you prefer to show off to add task to the timeline just right click on the task and click add to the timeline and the task will appear at the timeline to remove the task just right click on the task click remove from timeline on microsoft project the resources feature is also very useful to organize tasks inside a business team these people that are going to perform the different tasks in listed inside the plan you can also import the resources from your address book or add manually using work resources using this way you can assign any member of the project to perform a specific task in this resources tab you can also state the standard rate the overtime rate the cost in Microsoft project also we can create a report based what you want to know from example you can create the project cost report to see how much your team is spending to finish the project you also can create a progress project report with this, I would like to end this video of ours, and I thank you for lending us your ears. Goodbye.